So one concept I really want to show everyone is, and, and I go back to this quite a bit, oftentimes when you see, you know, he's got a left hamstring, a, a sore left hamstring, and so we actually isolated and tested this hamstring. We've already had to fix one muscle, actually his, his quadricep muscle, which is, does the opposite of the hamstring. So when we test the hamstring again, and I rub over, and what I'm doing is basically hunting for areas of, of problems that are contributing to the hamstring. And when I rub right over where his glute attaches to his ilium or his pelvis, that attachment of the glute actually strengthens the hamstring, meaning if I work this and make a correction to his pelvis, it's actually gonna help fire his hamstring properly. So many times you see people with hamstring problems who try to stretch it, ice it, heat it, um, you know, even laser it, and I use laser. But what in his particular case, without treating that, you know, that quadricep on the front and this glute max, which you often see a lot of hamstring problems coming from either a malfunctioning of the glute max or a malfunctioning of the calf muscles, if we check his glute max, and have you just point your foot, lift your leg up. Don't let me press down. He just breaks. But if I rub that spot that I found strengthened his hamstring, just to see if it's gonna temporarily fire this up, then he's got me. So remember, hamstring problems usually are not in the hamstring directly, unless there's a tear. Most of the time you're gonna see the hamstring problem being, due, or a tight hamstring be due to a glute max problem on that side or a calf muscle problem.